it's important to understand the subtle anatomy that we're dealing with, the quantum anatomy. In the old age, in the third dimensional relativity, everyone's been fixated on the contraction, the third dimension, the body. That's been the reference. In the new cycle that we're moving into, we have to understand the quantum physiology, the quantum subtle anatomy in particular the glands, because the glands are key. My background's in cranial sacral work, and I was very attracted to the wave dynamics in the cranial sacral model. That model is that the body, there's a rhythm happening in the universe, which goes out and goes in. The waves are doing this rhythm in the ocean. In our own bodies, there's a rhythm called the CSF, the cranial sacral fluid rhythm dynamic, and that rhythm is pumping. It's moving fluid down the spine, up the spine. This process is going in and out according to this universal rhythm. What is more important, because I was very drawn to osteopathy, but what to, to me is more significant is the endocrine system because the glands govern the situation of the cranial system. So the process that we do really aims to first under, un, unwind the glands because the glands are holding this sort of entrainment pattern. And if we unwind the glands to be in a relaxed and, and sort of neutral state, the body and the cells can open up and expand. Literally, your cells are reflecting what's happening in your glands. And 99, a huge percent of people on this planet are driven by their adrenal glands. So the adrenals release adrenaline and cortisol and that stimulates the cells to constantly be flipping polarity. You see, there are glands at each progressive area in the body. And if the glands govern, they're the survival glands. They're the glands that take care of us when animals are chasing us. Our adrenals say, get out of the way, and we move out of the way. Yogis and mystics are tapped into a completely different situation. Their hypothalamus, pineal, and pituitary, and thymus glands are opened up, and they're releasing different substances. Those substances are what conditions the field. So if your adrenals are governing your field, you're going to be having a situation where the cells are flipping polarity. When the cells flip polarity on, off, on, off, what happens? Aging happens. Disease happens. Because every occasion that the cells flip polarity, they're losing oxygen, they're losing energy, and then they replicate again. And this process shortens the telomeres, which are the little antenna in the DNA. Science has proven this. The telomeres get shorter and shorter, and suddenly no more cellular replication. You're done. Same thing with wrinkling and, and, and when you're starting to look like you're getting older, it's because the adrenals are always on. If you unwind the adrenals first, allow the thymus gland, which is the anti-aging and the heart chakra gland to, uh, to open up, that releases different substances and every cell in your body is then conditioned by that gland. So the goal of the protocol is to shift the endocrine glandular situation. As the glandular situation shifts, the cranial system opens up and expands. Important thing to understand, because I, I, we work with a lot of cranial folks and osteopathic folks, and this is very different. Our cranial view is very different than traditional cranial sacral. We're not working the rhythm. The rhythm to us is simply a reference point for polarity. Literally, the axis of polarity in this planet goes like this, through the axis. Same thing happens in our bodies, and as that happens, we get flexion, extension, which is the cranial sacral rhythm, polarity. Our goal here is to unwind that rhythm, the polarity of that rhythm, so it shifts into neutrality. Yogis and mystics will tell you, if you hang out with them, that they live in the space between the breath. They live in this very subtle space. And if you watch a baby, you'll see the same thing. They're sort of resting in this open state. The cells, everything is neutral. There is a ton of energy in this universe. There is no lack of energy in this universe. It is filled with energy, neutral energy. The more that we shift our reference as individuals from being fixated on the polarity to being opened up in the neutrality, that neutral space energy of the universe flows through our body and our cells. It activates regeneration and rejuvenation. It opens up our field, it expands our field, and activates glands and coherence. Coherence is the name of the game. The more coherent we are, the more we tap into higher dimensional planes of energy. The more contracted and uncoherent we are, the more life is a, is a sort of struggle, and there's tension, things don't cooperate, things don't work efficiently, and the result is decay and disease and, and aging.